I am not drunk. So don't nobody get on here and say I'm drunk. I am not drunk. I can walk five straight lines if I need to. But I'm going to hop on here real quick to say goodnight to y'all. Before my husband come upstairs and I have to wrap it all up. Because <laughs> we got grown folks business to tend to. I'm going to say it one time. And one time only. For the kids who got left at the bus stop. On the yellow bus. I don't need my son to take care of me. I'm not one of them celebrity mamas. Y'all can talk too crazy. Like, oh my God, I need my son. Like, look at me. Are you crazy? I birthed him. I created these beings. You think I'm about to run around here and need them to provide for me? Y'all can't talk to me like y'all talk to these other mothers. You know why? Because <laughs> I don't have to kiss my son's ass for nada. I say what go and what don't go. He don't say shit, okay? That's what I think y'all confused about for this last year. That the mama got to run around here. Oh, you need blue face. You need blue face. <laughs> I keep trying to tell y'all. <laughs> I'm about that business. I've been about that business since I was 12 years old. Come on now. I'm going to eat, sleep, and shit no matter what he do. He can't run me like the rest of these celebrity moms. And that's no offense to no other mom. Now, I, I, you don't get it wrong. <clears throat> I appreciate getting my hair done. I appreciate my son dropping off the money to get my hair done. I appreciate my other son for doing what he do. I appreciate Callie for pulling up with nice dresses. I appreciate my kids for, for looking out for me. But baby, when I tell you, <laughs> I'm on my third husband. I don't play no games and I don't never, never, never have to wait on my son to do shit for me. Therefore, he can't tell me shit. He can't tell me when to talk, when to walk, when to shut up, when to speak. He my son. Okay. So I'm going to need y'all to know that anything that got, when you got to say your or my, and it belongs to me, he came out my shitty ass. Okay. I don't have to do nothing. He say. He can't make me do shit. He can't pay a bill for me. He can't do nothing for me but be my son. So I'm going to need y'all to go on ahead and figure that out real quick so y'all can stop hopping on here like, <gasps> blue face, blue face. We need blue face. <laughs> Come on now. You better go. Y'all better go listen to my son's First interviews and let him tell you what type of mama I am. I got it. Don't worry. If he fall and crumble, I got him. Okay, I got bags all over this place. I pick them up daily. I do this. This is what I do. This how they know how to do. So I'm going to need y'all to stop running around here thinking I'm like one of these other celebrity moms. He going to buy me a house. Nigga, I got three houses. Okay, he trying to keep up with me. So <clears throat> y'all need to stop comparing all these celebrity moms like, you know, our sons take care of us and or our daughters. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what them other mothers got going on <clears throat> that they got to be quiet, sit down, shut up when they son say so. But baby, as fine as I am, you got to know better. Okay, my husband will work five jobs and buy six houses before I have to let a little boy tell me when to come, when to speak, and when to go. Y'all got to stop thinking like, oh my God, these celebrities have so much going on that they could just control stuff. That's not everybody's life. Okay, I will send y'all some text messages where he didn't ask me for a bag. And guess what? <laughs> Baby, I got it. So... Y'all need to go start asking around. I've been a hustler since day one. That's how they know how to hustle. I don't have to shut up, be quiet, sit down when Blue said. 
He don't pay my bills. He ain't never paid my bills. He ain't never did nothing but get my hair done. You better ask somebody. So I need clout off him. I need this. I need that. I now I don't. I do appreciate y'all making sure that my um YouTube channel send me a check, and I, I appreciate y'all, you know, doing what y'all got to do on y'all part. I appreciate that. But I don't need my son. <laughs> That's just extra. Okay. That's a promise he made me as a child. Mama, make sure your hair done every week. So that's what he do, okay? That's his thing. He keep up with his promises. So y'all need to stop call to inboxing me every day talking about blue face this and blue face that. Like, he's almighty God. Like, he don't shick shack nothing over here. Never has, never will. My husband not that type of person. And I would never, ever, ever lay up with a man this for y'all weirdo young ladies i'ma let a man go in unto me and i need my son to take care of me where they do that at now i don't know about these other mothers and i like i said i'm not knocking nobody well my husband been around taking care of my son before he became blue faced you better you all need to sit down and ask him for an interview because all of this scary shit y'all in my inbox like I really don't have, I really don't have nothing against that baby. I swear to God, I don't, <clears throat> I felt bad that she was spending her Christmas by herself. Cause I tried that whole dating a married man thing. And if you ain't, if you ain't cut out to just be the bag lady, it just, it don't, it don't ever add up. Right. It's not a good thing to ever try to challenge another woman who got kids, not just kid, but kids. And been there for 10 years. Like, it's just, I'm going to give y'all both ends of that. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I ain't going to never lie to y'all. That's a no-win situation. And even if it is a win situation, it's still messed up. Because the man still got to go home to his family. I told her when I interviewed her two years ago, stay focused and stay about your business. And don't get into all of that. But they, these kids, they don't listen to me. And I tell them the truth about everything because I done tried everything under the sun. I ain't going to never lie to y'all. I ain't going to never try to cheat y'all. You can't take something. Somebody already has even somewhat ownership to. God's never going to bless that. It's just, he just doesn't work like that. I've tried it. You just, you can't pray about it. You can't, you can't, um, <laughs> hell Mary about it. You can't do no voodoo about it. It's, it, it's voodoo only lie. And I don't know if they told y'all, but witchcraft got a, like a, a clock on it. You, it's only certain, you know what I'm saying? You just cannot live like that. It's just not healthy. You got to want your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't even, my daughter don't even date dudes that got kids already. Like you would never see Callie with a man who got a kid. That'll never happen. Now, they might date her. That's on them. But she not about to ever date a dude with a kid. So y'all can take some of this and run with it. You can do what you do. You could keep trying to, you know, go against the grain. But I'm telling you, I done did all of that. I've been out here in L.A. since I was 19 years old. I done went through all these streets, all these bags, all these corners, ups, downs, highs, lows. I know what you can do, and I know what you can't do. No, I have no life outside of my children. I'm working, I'm really working on that. 
But no, I think about them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I get off my husband and I still think about my kids. So, no. I'm waiting on my grandson to come over here and get his grand pre his present right now. Absolutely. I, I love everybody. I mean, and I feel for her because like I said, I've been there. I've done that. Oh, they about to go through a lot of emotions because, yeah, that's that's the tough, you know what I'm saying? And luckily, I don't, you know, rely on them to take care of me. Because that's, you know what I'm saying? Or feed me or my next meal or my future or my hopes and dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's a tough spot for that family to be in. I'm cool with her. I don't have no problems with her. But I'm not going to never hold my tongue and be quiet. If right is right and wrong is wrong, I'm going to say what it is. She know me by now. She even told me she know me. Yes, child, I'm so misunderstood. And thank God I have the balls. Otherwise, they would have ran me off. I'm going to let her tell y'all what she got tatted. That's between her Christmas present. I mean, her life, whatever she doing. I don't know. I don't know that part to confirm. <sighs> my favorite gift for my husband was my Versace perfume. Because I love, love, love fragrances. And it's the one that I don't have. And I wore it today and I still smell it. And I, everybody, <clears throat> everybody who knows me knows, like, I love to smell beautiful. Like, that's my whole womanly thing. Some women like roses. Of course, we all love diamonds. But perfume is like my shelf is completely full. I never said he was married. That child probably ain't going to never get married. Until a long, long time. I never said that. Who said he was married? Only thing I ask my son for is what he promised me for my hair to stay beautiful every week. He told me that when he was like 12 years old. And somebody didn't do my hair. <clears throat> or something happened that I couldn't get my hair done. And poor little thing was like, Mama, when I get rich, I'm going to make sure... That your hair is done all of the time. You're going to be pretty all of the time. So he sticks to the promise and I stick to the, <laughs> I stick to the hair it is. That's all I can tell you. That was his complaint. It wasn't like, you know, most of these mamas where, oh, I need you to buy me a house. Or I need you to buy me a car. Or I need you to buy me this. Like, no, he just promised to get my hair done and that's what it is. Who dating a married man? What is y'all talking about? Oh, yeah, mine's mine. The one I tried that with when I was her age was probably, yeah, he was definitely married with kids. But you have to understand marriage is marriage. The word is something that we, you know, we made legal here in our country is something that we made legal as a people here. But the Bible says when a man goes in unto his wife, the virgin, he becomes hers and she becomes his. And after 10 years, a whole decade of him going in unto her, I mean, if he's pretty much established there. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably going to take a whole nother virgin to come establish him. It's his home. Just imagine like a man going into a vagina for 10 years that nobody else has been inside of. Like, who's going to battle that bitch? Why would you even try that? That's retarded. It's a, it's a reckless mission. And if y'all video recording me after two glasses of wine, I swear to God, I'm not messing with y'all tomorrow. 
It's a battleless mission. It's like he's going into his own cave that nobody else has ever seen or touched or been in. Imagine that. Imagine having your own that no one has ever touched. Are you ever going to give that up? As a woman, would you? Just imagine having your man that ain't nobody else ever touched down there. Would you ever give that up? It's your home. It's where your children are. It's the smell of her um, soap powder for 10 years. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, y'all got, y'all got, a, I know y'all probably all underage and got a lot of growing up to do, but we get so used to certain things. Like some of us don't even want to change our makeup, right? Because we've been using that makeup for so long and it just works for us. We know when we put it on, it's going to be this color. It's going to work. Just give me that number 50. That da, 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 da. It's just going to work. So it's just, I'm just using that as an example. The slow people on the bus try to stay caught up. When you have something that you are used to, it's very hard to break away from that. Very, very hard. So don't even set yourself up for that kind of challenge. You don't want to, you don't want to work like that. You just don't want to do that. Of course, he's with his children for Christmas. What type of people did y'all think I raised? I mean, <laughs> I don't have, now technically, if you think about it, I'm not even going to ask you, answer you no more about my hair getting done. That's just dumb. I've seen women succeed with BMs in the picture. Yes, you have, but were they virgins? A BM could have been with like 20 different people already. Now, y'all done heard Blue say he's fond of that. You know what I'm saying? Like some men just like don't like used up girls. Like it's just, it's just some people don't like it. Some females won't date a man with kids, let alone a newborn. Exactly my point. Like, why would you set yourself up? He got to be there when that baby take that first walk, when that baby take that first crawl. Those are days away from him. Like, yeah, no, it's just not, it's not a good thing to try. It's a suicide mission. Yes, I saw all of my children today. And I didn't get to see a few of my grandkids because they're with their fathers. But that's where they're supposed to be. So I don't have no complaints. You can't be almost married. They were fornicating. Um. Yes and no. You know, when I sit around my when I sit around Blue right now, I don't really have nothing to say to him because I just I'm not I'm just, I'm not very happy or impressed with his performance in life right now, and I just don't say anything. I have like I have to let you know, you know there was a period where I went through that with Dre. There's you know, there's a period you know there's probably hopefully not a period where I'll go through that with my daughter. But you just have to just sit there and just be like ugh. Until they figure it out. You know, our parents did it with us. My dad loved me regardless. Right. He, I didn't ask him. That's something he said he wanted... He was going to do it since he was 12 years old. You are exactly right. And trust me, baby, I can get my hair done if I need to. That's not a problem. 
me and Mr. Blue could compare bank accounts right now. And I, I'm pretty sure he's told y'all in the beginning that my mama got it already. Y'all ain't what y'all not real fans or else y'all would have went and watched interviews where he already said, no, my mom, she already straight. Like what the kind of people, what kind of men are y'all dating? What are y'all doing out there that y'all just, you know, or y'all just all single maybe. I don't even date men with children and I have a son. Smart, very smart girl. Very, very smart girl. Why would you do that? It's different when a woman got kids versus when a man got kids. I'm sorry. When I got with my husband, his kids was graduating high school and we had one baby girl that was 12 and that was still rough. Like, and thank God we lived in like four hours away from each other. I don't, that's just not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be needing my attention. I can't be, oh, you got to go over to baby mama house today. Okay, I'll see you when you come back. Why would you do that? Them baby mamas ain't going nowhere. I have two kids. I'm divorced and 40. I've never dated a man with kids. Too much drama. Exactly. I hope y'all listening. Because we trying to tell y'all. Callie got two kids. And all I know is, <laughs> baby, I went to her new place, honey. And y'all ain't got nothing to say to Callie. She doing her thug fizzle. And remember, we in L.A. I don't know where y'all at, but we out here where the big bills is at. And she doing very well. God has definitely took her out of one situation and put her way up on another situation. So shout out to her. And she don't care nothing about y'all, what y'all got going on over here. especially a newborn like do y'all know what little girls do when they hit like my son my other son's daughter won't even let him move she barely let her mama close to him so why would you want to be tied up in that mess like i could barely give my son a hug baby girl was on me like daddy daddy like girl calm down They're co-parenting. What's wrong? Um, Ma'am, co-parenting is what Callie and her baby daddy is doing. You get this year and I get next year. That's co-parenting. <laughs> Girl, bye. Um, I wouldn't say that Blue is a hoe. I just think he's 25 years old. And unfortunately, young ladies, this is what men that are 25 years old, this is what they do. So if you're not staying focused and you're not about your bag and taking care of your business, shame on you. Because <laughs> I was about mine. I don't know nothing about that love stuff y'all talking about, all of that whining and crying. After you get your heart broke at 19, you learn. You got to figure out your way and figure out what's going on with your own bag. So. <sighs> she ain't never date with no man with no kids. Females be desperate they date people with kids and then try to stop the dad from seeing the kids yeah how you gonna did you want your daddy to not see you on christmas did you want your daddy to not see you on thanksgiving did you not want your daddy to take you to school in the morning like everybody want their daddy to take them to school in the morning javon waits for john to take him to school in the morning every morning 
I want my daddy to take me. So I don't know what y'all, what advice do you have for Jaden? Um, my advice to Jaden is my advice to Jaden. Do whatever your heart desires, whenever you decide to make the decision for your heart. She has patience and virtue that I can't really, I can't really advise. I don't know, already told her to go left and she continues to want to go right. So you can't really give advice to someone. I, I don't have those patience or that virtue. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was not a virgin at 25 years old. I hadn't slept with the same person at 24. It's like some of us, we can't, we can't tell her what to do. None of y'all in here can't tell her how to live or what to do. Only God can direct her because she's doing something, you know, unnatural. She's doing something not unnatural. She's doing something that the average woman hasn't done. So some of us cannot give her advice at all. We don't have that virtue. We aren't, we aren't that, we aren't that clean woman. So we cannot, mm -mm, we, we don't, we don't, we can't stand really next to her. She'll be in a different line come time to walk through the pearly gates. I can assure you we will not be in the same line with her. That's a whole different that's a whole different setup. Hey baby. Do you think Jaden will ever leave blue? Mm, not why her kids not why her kids is babies for sure not. Did you see the preview of the show? No, I didn't watch today's show. I'm sorry. I'm guilty. I just, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be a good one today. My husband is into real estate. I know what Versace is it. I need to go check because baby, Ooh, I'm a perfume head. I put it on last night just to see if I could smell it in the morning. Ooh, I woke up like. <laughs> I can't wait for my son to fulfill his promise to me. Cutest thing ever. It really is. I mean, it really is. I ain't gonna lie. At 12 years old. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get my hair done one day. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't really, can't really tell you, but my hair was a mess and I was crying about it and I couldn't go out with my friends. And my poor baby was like, I'm going to make sure your hair done next time, mama, so you can go out. He ain't never promised me no house, though. <laughs> If Jane didn't have kids, she would have been gone if Rock wasn't in the picture. Who broke? Marriage is a is a contract between a man and a woman. That's supposed to be scheduled and from the time you get married and until the time you die. That's what marriage is. Rock is on live interview the other day. 
No, I don't know about the three babies. The only thing that keeps Jaden in the picture is them kids. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, just because I know. Um... Jane and John have been through a lot together, you guys, a whole, whole lot. So shout out to them for being able to take care of their kids and do what they need to do in spite of all this. They have definitely been, I mean, 10 years. I, mean, I haven't been with anybody 10 years yet. Have you ever been with anybody 10 years? I need somebody to tell me who been with somebody 10 years. Baby, I haven't been with anybody 10 years. I'm coming up on 10 years and I'm 50. So if anybody else has endured anyone for 10 years, please take the floor. No one going once. No one. Okay. I didn't think so. No, get off. I know you got something else to do. It's Christmas. I wouldn't even be interested in a man that was in a 10-year relationship with kids and dogs and cats. <laughs> he already gave her up years ago. Um, okay. I know that's what the man told me when I was dating a married man. <laughs> We just haven't had the same feelings in years. It just, it's just not the same anymore. <laughs> what they tell y'all? <laughs> what the man? What the man in a relationship may tell y'all about the baby mama? I just don't feel the same way about her anymore. And that man that I'm telling y'all about is still with that woman. And I'm 50 now, and this was in my 20s, and I and he's still with that woman. Okay. Merry Christmas, baby. Yes, the Bible talks about that. Absolutely does. Y'all slow Why you think people mad. I ain't saying names no more. Jaden likes to mess with this girl. She was not 100% a virgin. She wasn't a virgin at 14. Okay, now, I found blood on my son's sheets. So whoever said that telling a goddamn lie, I know for sure that that baby was a virgin. How about that? Because I had to throw the bloody sheets away. She might be mad that I told y'all that. But I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. That's a lie. She was definitely a virgin. Who else? She shut up quick, didn't she? Now, how you going to sleep with a thousand women in a year? Why you believe everything he say? Y'all believe everything he say like he God Almighty, huh? Y'all so scared. Blue face, blue face. <laughs> Girl, bye. Child, I'm worn out. The kids wore me out. And I had two glasses of wine. So I'm bent out of shape. I've been up with them since 7 o'clock this morning. Opening presents. I don't want to hear grandma no more tonight. Nope, they're not married. Nobody's married that I know of. But I think y'all keep forgetting that maybe Jaden doesn't want to be in a relationship right now either. She's only 25 years old, guys. She still got some running around with her girlfriends to do. Don't y'all see how happy she be when she get to get out the house and hang out with her girlfriends? She likes to have fun. Well, 
Well, it looked like they're very loyal today because they had a very Merry Christmas. So I don't know what you're talking about, but they've been doing this Merry Christmas shit for the last 10 years. And Thanksgiving and Hanukkah. And I don't know what else. Everything Blue says about you, get on here. Yep. Everything he says, I get on here. You know why? Because because I'm his mom and he knows me. You got it right. Everything he says about me is right. But guess what? I can do what the hell I want to and he can't tell me how to do it. So there you go. And I don't look too scared of him because I'm still on here. <laughs> Everything Blueface says about you is right. Do I look like I give a fuck? You got me cussing on the Lord's birthday. Do I look like I give a damn? I raised my kids. They grown. I'm going to do and be wouldn't say what I want to say. If you don't like it, get off my live. You don't have to be live tonight. He can't tell me what to do. He don't pay my bills. <laughs> I'm not scared of y'all. I'm not scared of y'all's blue face God. Do I look scared of him? Oh my God. My son's not going to talk to me for a whole nother month, guys. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be a horrible month. He's just not going to talk to me. He's not going to get my hair done. It's just going to be a horrible month, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a horrible, horrible month. My kids aren't going to talk to me again. Do you know that was the best month of my life? I didn't hear nobody say, Mama, I need, Mama, can you nothing? I didn't have to call no electric people. None of that. I miss my grandkids, though I did. Yes, Callie has two sons, Jesus and Carter. Yeah, Callie don't like y'all that much no more. She tried not to get on here. <laughs> she just think y'all too much, but I like y'all. I like y'all a lot. I don't know. I don't think Jaden and Blue ever posted each other, did they? I think they've always kept their relationship kind of like separate from the internet. I don't think they never posted pictures of each other. I'm a Leo. Can't you tell how they ain't scaring me or running me out of here or nothing? I already left my family, child. And thank God I'm ready to lay my ass down. I'm old. We all dispersed. We started at 7 o'clock this morning. Now they're having their own personal family time. All I know is Callie is co-parenting and her kids is over here this year and then next year they over there. That's how you co-parent. But if y'all do it all together, that's not co-parenting. That's love parenting. <laughs> Absolutely. He's very young. I keep trying to tell them 25 years old, probably till a man get 30 now, see, when they get close to 30, they things start slowing down a little bit. They can't keep up with us as much. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, like, wait, and you got to wait your mark. That's why you should be taking your time to figure out your life and take care of your bag and not be trying to run around with no man trying to wait on him because they like jackrabbits until they about 30. I don't care who it is. Yo, my brother, he don't do that. Okay, your brother's probably a little weird. 
but usually men, most of them, including my own husband, this came from him, don't even start calming down in their hormones until they're 30. So until you find somebody that's around that age or a little slow or maybe a little chubby or a little like don't nobody want them, you might have to stay busy about your own paper. And if you don't and you waste time on men under 30, you're just going to look up and be feeling real crazy later. And it's going to be a hot mess for you. Okay. So stay focused on yourself and your bag. Stay, just stay focused. That's all you got to do. Don't do like I did and think, oh, you know, love is here and love is there. Don't do that. Just stay focused on yourself. And then by the time they start calming down, because when they get between 30 and 40, they can't keep up with us. That junk starts slowing way down. Like it's just not, you know what I'm saying? They use it up real fast and then it slows down. They can't keep up with us. So just, just be patient. If you want to go to school, if you want to like focus on, you know, acting or modeling or dance, like now is your time. Because when you get 30, that clock going to start moving like so fast, you're not even going to be able to control it. So I'm telling you, if you're 22 or 25 years old and you're dating somebody and you're not really sure about him and you're like, oh, maybe he likes me, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. He didn't call me today. Like, you shouldn't be waiting on that. You should be waiting on what's my test score next week or when's my next audition or when's my next, you know, show. You know what I'm saying? If you sitting there waiting on him and you ain't waiting on your bag, sis, you are headed for a dead end. He ain't going to like you anyway because you ain't doing nothing. So... Nyla, I didn't forget you, baby. I'm going Christmas shopping tomorrow, Nyla, and get you something. I did not forget her. Um, Carpet munching doesn't count. So there's like inside your walls. You know what I'm saying? I'm, we talking about the inside part. You know, when they go in onto the... Don't start talking about no carpet munching stuff. That that It counts, and that's definitely a sin, and it's against God, but it don't count to no man. Okay? He can't feel no carpet muncher doesn't carpet munch on you. Let's use our common sense and stop acting like our mama dropped us off on that yellow bus and then pick, forgot to pick us up. Don't no man care, care about the lesbian count. All he care about is what went in unto you. And even though you don't think he knows that a hundred people went in unto you, they know. Trust me when I tell you, they know. So he don't know about the carpet mention. That's between you and God. <clears throat> Your lesbian activity is between you and God. Whatever you, whatever you, you know, discount you're going to get on your spirit, I don't know. That's between you and God. But don't no man know about no carpet munching. Now, when your shit start falling apart and inside out and you need reconstructive vagina surgery, by the time you're 50, now I was very selective. I didn't do no mess like that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all now. That's going to catch up with you. Stop running around here. Oh, I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try that one. He got the bag. He got the bag. No, your bag going to be tore inside out. And you're going to end up an old lady having to have your coochie sewn back inside out. I see some hearts. That means somebody done already had the surgery. So, Or either they know what I'm talking about. That ain't the same thing. At the end of the day, Rock is going to be more loyal than Jaden. Child, when I tell you, you can't catch up to Jaden. None of us can't catch up to Jaden's loyalty. When I tell you, <laughs> and you think he really care about that, them two thick as thieves. They tied it in, they tied it in the, uh, <laughs> they tied it in the virgin's butt cheeks. Don't be letting that get past you now. Now, you know I know.
Why can't Blue see the kids without Jaden? Now, would you would you let your kids go with somebody that's on TV talking about I'm their baby too? When you you can't let your kids go when a woman is comparing their herself. That imagine me comparing myself to my husband's daughters. Somebody say, and then I say, well, I'm his daughter too. He my daddy too. Like, would you let your kids go with that person? Just think about the, you You got off the yellow bus for sure. Now, why would she let her kids go somewhere with somebody that then kicked his mama in the head? Ain't no self-control there. Javon liable to like, Javon is shifty. He will say some slick stuff in a minute and then it might offend her and then she might feel some type of way. That's not a chance you take with your children. So why now would she ever take that chance? You do it with your kids. How about that? You going on 17 years old. Then, baby, you need to be make sure you listening to this. Don't do what these people doing and what you see on this internet. It's all of a sudden and they're all lying. Mama, that 10 years means nothing. Well, if it didn't mean nothing, he wouldn't be over there. I was married 10 years. And he left you after 10 years? 10 years take patience, Lord Jesus. You don't even know what kind. I'm 50. I ain't never been with nobody 10 years. I'm st I see somebody that said they was. Ooh, that's a, that's bird. That's, I'm telling you, that's, that's a, that's biblical patience. <laughs> 18 and counting. Whoop, whoop. 17 years. I'm 34. Amen. Let me, I, I want to, we, let's go live. Where, where are you at, sis? I, I, I'm ready to talk to somebody about it. Cause these little girls need to know. I'm 40 and been with my husband 21 years. Okay, who 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 want to talk about it? If they ain't together, they woke up together. So keep laughing, weirdo. I'm trying to tell you, and I'm the mama, and I know, and you trying to tell me. Oh, Lord Jesus. But if he ain't with her... <laughs> Where he been at all day and all night. I don't know who he loved. That's not my. That's between him and God. He like we. I did not just tell them. I'm. I just told y'all. If they up to 30 years old, you cannot count on them. Why y'all sitting here still saying that? Not every bird should bleed after losing their virginity. Well, her ass did. He didn't, he called Jaden his wife too, y'all. That is not nothing new. She was not on her period. She was 14. Who the hell have sex on a period at 14? Y'all is some weirdos. 
And don't y'all think if she had sex with somebody, all this, she ain't never been with nobody before, that person would have stepped up and told Blue? Right, you can't be jealous of no kids. Now, you could be jealous of the time. I've been there. You could be jealous of the time. Like, oh, my God, we have to do this, and I'd rather do this. Like, it's that's just a natural, it's natural. But you can't, like, be jealous of the actual kids. You have to, like, when you have a spouse, you have to speak highly of their kids. You have to remind yourself at all times. You can't just be, like, on the internet time I threw they I threw they ass out and you threw them out for me like that's just you know what I'm saying like the, no kid is going to ever accept you as stepmom you know what I'm saying like no mother is ever going to trust you with their kids you have to be you can't you just can't play like that you can't play with no kids like that that's not a good look what happened last Christmas I wish my mom was always there. Glad to hear you spent the day with your family and grandkids. You, and I am, I am truly blessed and truly happy too. But y'all, I love my husband so much. I would have been all right with him just just being with him. So you got to get to that place too. Because these kids going to do... What if I had a kid that like... I mean, remember when I was in Ohio and... They was out here. I didn't get to see them for it. Well, actually, they came to Ohio. I'm lying. But what if people, I've heard people say, like, my kids are all the way in Massachusetts or something. So, I mean, you got to be, you know, at 50, you got to be okay if your kids come or not. But. Yeah, Oh, she says, start your talk show up. I think I just might. Let me pray on that and think about it tonight. No, I don't think she's ever met Jaden's kids, nor would John ever take them. John is not like that. He's not about to disrespect Jaden's wishes about her, their children. Right, ain't nobody worried about what no damn blue face said. They funny, ain't they? Oh my God, your son's never going to talk to you again. He's never going to be your friend. Who bad that's going to be? Who bad that's going to be? He ain't never paid my rent. He ain't never paid my bills, my water, my lights, my gas. Now I do, I get it. I, you know, I know a lot of celebrity moms and they sons take care of them so they can't say and do what they want to say because, you know, they might run into problems. But I can say what I want to say. <laughs> My kids ain't going to never tell me when to talk, when to be quiet, shut the hell up, or none of that. <laughs> you, They should know that by now. I was the mother on the football field. He would turn around in the middle of a football game. We, like, the game is on the line. <laughs> Blue face is up. He about to throw the ball. And I will literally be like, you throw that interception. I swear to God, I'm going to beat your ass. And he would turn around and do like this. And I'll be like, you heard what the fuck I said. Didn't shut my mouth on the football field. Ain't never going to shut my mouth on this internet. I'm going to do what I want, say what I want. I'm his mama. If he can't accept me for who I am, that's on him. I have to accept my mama and my daddy for who they is. And you have to accept yours for who they is. I like to talk and I'm going to keep talking. And if they don't like it, too bad. Too sad. Yeah, I've been in a business. Yes, I child, honey. I just told you I was on that football field. I'll be hollering and screaming all day business to the whole audience. Um, ask 
actually, we have a surprise for you guys. So the talk show will have other people on the panel, but we're bringing an actual blue table talk. And we start filming on January 16th. So it won't just be my show. It's It'll be the blue talk table. I can't tell y'all who. But we start shooting January 16th. I can tell you that. And they told me not to say nothing yet. But y'all know I can't hold water. Why do I always talk about the blue face and Jaden situation? So I done talked about, I don't know if you just got on here, but I done talked about Callie. I done talked about Dre. I done talked about my husband. And y'all keep asking me about my son like he's Jesus Christ or something. Like, y'all keep asking me about a specific child of mine. So I address it. If you want to know something else, just ask me. And if you don't want to hear about my kids, you on the wrong live. Go get on somebody else's live. But on this live, we're going to talk about my children. How about that? <laughs> That's the only way you can see his kids. Mm, I mean, that's not the only way he can see his kids. But he ain't finna do that. <laughs> Dole. He rich. He could do what he want, right? <laughs> if you want to see your kid, what your mama and daddy do when they separated and they want, your daddy wanted to see you? He went to that coat house, right? And told them people, run me them papers. And you was getting visitation. But he ain't did that. So therefore... <laughs> Only way he could see him is if she say so. Y'all funny. Y'all is hilarious. Do you, you the one that ain't listening. You the one gonna be giving up the snatch to somebody under 30. Yeah, she need to keep doing her thing. She shouldn't be on there crying today about nobody with their kids today. Like... She definitely should keep doing her thing. I told her she could do it. I been told her she could do it. Didn't I tell her she could do it? What I say in that interview? Stay focused on yourself and stay focused on your bag. Y'all don't want to listen to me, though. Y'all the type don't listen to y'all mama. If he wanted his kids and not go over there, all he rich. Remember, he could just go tell a judge, just like your daddy had to do. Just like my daddy had to do. Come on now. Don't be slow. I know your mama forgot you on that yellow bus stop a couple times, but you ain't that slow. Ain't nobody giving their money to Blue. When you have a manager, I'm going to manage some of y'all in a minute. <clears throat> if you have a manager, just like Blue have a manager, they get a certain percentage of your money. That's what it is. You don't like it? Too bad. What are some advice for the 30s? Still stay focused until God send you the right man. And when you pray about him, pray about a man who follows God so that <clears throat> you don't have to teach him how to be right. I 
and be patient. Stop. Don't be you. Even if you're 30 or 31 and you just got over the rainbow, don't start just jumping into anything. But please, y'all, please, please, please stop focusing on these little boys and focus on yourself. You wasting good, valuable time. You should not have to go back like I did and go back to college. And you see, I still could barely spell. Focus, focus, focus on yourself, please. I don't care if you just go to college and sign up until, until God gives you direction on what to do next. I don't care if it's cosmetology school. I don't care if it's nail tech school. Find something to do while you wait for God to give you <clears throat> what it is that you're purpose for. Okay? Please, I cannot stress this enough. If y'all get off of here and call Julio instead of getting on your knees and telling God to give me my purpose, give me my direction so I don't waste 30, 40 years of my life like Miss Carlissa did or the mama did, please just tell them I don't want to be like the mama. I don't want to be like blue face mama and have to wait for my son to become something to get my hair done. Okay, get on your hands and knees and tell God, I want to be able to just get my hair done no matter how much it costs whenever I'm ready to get it done. I don't want to be like Miss Carlissa. She told me to get on here and ask you, God, for my purpose. And he going to give it to you. The only reason you don't have it is because you ain't asked for it yet. He said, knock on the door and the door going to open. But y'all ain't even knocking on the door. Y'all keep knocking on Julio door. And he keeps slanging that thing out the door, bringing it back in, shutting the door on y'all, and sending y'all back out to the next one. Stop doing that. Okay, so when Julio call y'all tonight, what y'all gonna say? I'm just saying Julio, because Julio usually be fine, fine. And I know y'all got some trouble out there with them fine, fines. <clears throat> when he called tonight, you going to say, the mama said, I got business out here to take care of that do not involve you unless you want to be my steady partner, unless you want to help me get to this bag and it don't have nothing to do with what's going on between my legs. Now, if he want to stick around and help you study, help you get to the bag and be patient and he might have a Diana and a Carol that ain't got nothing to do with you as long as he helping you do your homework and pay your bills. That ain't none of your business. You ain't got to give him nothing. Okay? Now, I'm about to go try to get me some real quick, okay? I hope y'all got that. My wine is wearing off. But this is the same thing I'm going to tell my baby, my grandbaby. Somebody should have told me. I wish somebody would have told me. Focus on the bag. Focus on yourself. And if you have not got on your knees and asked God what it is that he wants for you to do with your life, I ain't going to say shame on you because it ain't too late. But you better ask him tonight on his birthday. And after you ask him, if he don't give you something tomorrow, you need to go down on your knees and say, look at here, partner. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Now you said knock on this door and it better start opening. And hold him accountable. Because that's what he said in his word. He said, knock on this door and I'm going to open it. And if that door don't start opening within the week and then something else the week after that and something else the week after that. You keep going back to him like, look at here. You said, <laughs> and look for it again tomorrow until he put it on you. And you got to be patient. You got to be watching them visions because he's going to tell you, oh, you a doctor. Go to school. Oh, you a model. Get up and start walking. And you got to believe him when he tell you because he's going to tell you quick and it's going to be real quick. And you got to grab it. And when you grab it, you got to hold on to it. You can't let it go. And you just got to keep going with that and keep going with that. And don't let Julio sidetrack you because he going to try to sidetrack you. Because the devil going to send Julio to come get what's in your hand. 
whatever you grab, you got to hold on tight to and you can't let the devil send Julio and Jonathan and...